Your Weather. Coverage you can count on. Court's here with us now. Court, I saw some videos coming in of just really heavy rain out there. Yeah. Not too bad this morning. And but hail. Hail. This afternoon, yeah. We've yeah. had uh, videos coming in of hail in Corning. We just... I was just sent a message about hail coming down at the Feather Falls Casino area uh -huh. right now. We've had some very active conditions this afternoon, and it looks like that's going to continue maybe for the next hour or so. But for the most part, we've seen the heaviest of what we're going to see moving through as far as the valley goes this evening. It looks like that's starting to diminish a little bit, but we're still seeing a chance for more valley showers and even thunderstorms on the way as we head into your Wednesday. Mountain area still seeing more rain and snow, mostly in the way of snow overnight through tomorrow. Snow levels dropping a little bit for the Sierra. We'll see a dusting down to 2,000 feet, mostly down to 3,000 feet though for the snow levels. For the northern mountains, we'll see that down to as low as 1,500 feet. And then dry and mild late this week. We'll see a chance for some showers in the Sierra on Thursday, but most areas drying out Thursday and Friday. As far as what we're seeing outside right now, 54 degrees in Chico. We did see some showers through a little bit ago. That's mostly clearing out at the moment. Winds out of the southeast to 20 miles an hour. So winds have been strong again this afternoon, just not as strong as yesterday. 52 degrees, cloudy skies in Redding right now. 13 mile an hour winds out of the south. Then you take a look at Bernie, 38 degrees right now, some clouds overhead and calm winds. As far as what we are tracking for you, the winter weather advisory still in effect for Trinity County through 8 p.m. tonight. For the western slopes of the Sierra, that's through 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Could still see six inches to a foot of snow possible above 4,000 feet. Limited snow expected below that elevation, but down to 3,000 feet, we could see a couple of inches of snow on the way, maybe about an inch down to 3,000 feet, getting a little higher as we move up to 4,000 feet. Satellite and radar, very active conditions this afternoon. You can see Tehama County seeing thunderstorms rolling through earlier. We're still tracking a cell there with heavy hail falling in Corning just about 15 minutes ago. Meanwhile, as you take a look at the northern end of the valley, we're tracking some heavier showers there. The mid valley areas, especially Butte County up into the foothills, that's where we've tracked the thunderstorm over the last half an hour. That's mostly up in the Feather Falls area, just upwards of Oroville right now. That's where we're seeing the most active conditions at the moment. And as we head into tonight, we're still seeing more of that active weather rolling through, but it's going to become more shower like overnight through tomorrow as low pressure continues continues to progress through to our west or our east rather, and that's what's going to really wrap up the chance for those widespread active conditions. So what's going on your future cast? We're seeing scattered showers possible overnight through tomorrow afternoon. That starts to ramp up a little bit more, especially in mountain areas with the chance for valley showers and thunderstorms returning for your Wednesday afternoon. Higher elevations seeing the best chance for showers on Thursday. Valley areas expected to be mostly dry by then. So rain and snow showers likely for the northern mountains with mid 40s to low 50s tomorrow afternoon. For the Sierra, we're in the high 30s to low 40s. Snow showers for the most part there. It looks like might to light to moderate snow showers through the afternoon. Showers and a chance for thunderstorms in the foothills. We'll see a chance for a mix of rain and snow down into paradise overnight and through early tomorrow and then mostly rain by tomorrow afternoon. And if you're in the valley, temperatures in the mid 30s with the chance for showers overnight. The chance for showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon tomorrow with mid to high 50s. Mid valley areas in those high 30s to low 40s for the start of your Wednesday, ending up in those mid 50s to high 50s with that chance for more thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Now, Haley, as we take a look at your extended forecast, we do dry out heading into your Thursday with temperatures back in the low 60s Thursday and Friday in the valley and then another wet system passing through to our north as we head through Saturday. That'll bring light showers back to our region Saturday, possibly extending into Sunday. Latest models have us drying out by then and then we get back into those low 70s with dry weather for the start of next week. Well, ahead of